Tide. Okay, right now we have the privilege of hearing from Elaine Wu, who is Marketing and Partnership Manager at Seed, a pioneering open source AIoT hardware platform. And her focus on edge AI and AIoT has led her to believe in the power of reliable hardware platforms, which in turn empowers individuals and businesses to achieve their digital transformation goals. Kind of a big deal. So with over a billion network cameras deployed worldwide, the potential for revolutionizing safety and analytics is enormous. Smart cameras driven by advanced AI have the capacity to transform spaces, ensuring safety for all from drivers and pedestrians to retailers and shoppers. In today's talk, Elaine will guide us through the world of edge performance for video analytics applications, leveraging the formidable capabilities of NVIDIA Jetson. Moreover, she's gonna demonstrate how with the YOLO V8 model, you can effortlessly upgrade any legacy camera without writing a single line of code. That sounds like my kind of coding. Please join me in welcoming Elaine, who is about to unveil a future where cutting edge technology meets seamless accessibility. Give it up for Elaine Wu from Seed. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Say hi to Marjorie and also everyone in the rest of the world. I'm based in Shenzhen right now, so good. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. So I'm Elaine Wu, EIJR Marketing and Partnership at the Studio. I'm very glad to be here during Eurovision 2023. And also that was a fantastic panel discussion about the computer vision powered by open source and also community. And we do need the power of the ecosystem. And also, uh, that is that uh, there was a good question about how to uh, run enable the Yolo V8 uh, within uh, 100 100 bucks. So uh, previously, uh, so last year we have conducted a tutorial about deploy the Yolo V5 uh, into the Jason Nano. And so with the step-by-step uh, -step tutorials and also. Uh, with a, a great uh, performance around the 20 frames per second. And this year, we also, I mean, uh, invest on the Yolo V8 and to deploy to the to the Jetson and also other edge, edge, AI, uh, edge devices. So we can see that AI is made accessible to developers of any scale of the level. And the next phase of the AI adoption will also arrive. So today, I want to share about how to seamlessly upgrade any camera with a YOLO V8 model, which is mostly focused on the video analytics. We will also talk about how to use our open source community project to enable computer vision to cameras. And also, we will uh, get to, uh, walk you through a sim how seamlessly configuration and also a live demo. So I see that we are a hardware company focused on the AIoT industry since 2008. We're providing hardware services from the prototype to solutions. Our product portfolio family consists of embedded boards and also devices with the system. You can see the, our hardware family in the right in, in, in the right picture. And so they are uh, across from the sensing, networking, and edge computing, as well as a cloud to manage all C devices. They consist of complete, complete advanced perception, perception system, meeting AI and IoT deployment from indoor to outdoor and also any industries. We work very closely with silicons to develop modules from the chipset. Also, we work with a large ecosystem with communities, developers, and also leading software companies. So from, from sensors to edge, the, uh, actually today the easiest accessible IoT sensors is cameras. There are over 1 billion network cameras deployed worldwide. With integrating AI, these cameras will know what matters and what to answer. And so we've met a lot of use case deploy the computer vision to video analytics for security uh, and also for analytics. For example, like PPE detection for ensuring safety, a traffic system, containers counting in logistics, and getting real stores insights and frictionless checkout. 
But however, besides industries, you can also upgrade your home camera to tell you when a package has been delivered, whether your puppy escaped from your backyard or when baby is awake. So using Invader JSON ecosystem to use the Invader JSON platform to enable smart cameras from a legacy camera, we mostly focus on the deployment and also optimizing the user experience. To realize AI-powered video analytics, it is a combination of hardware and software applications. To package them all in one, these analytic solutions need to be integrated and also to be configured. Mm, but however, entire pipeline that is a com uh, addressing a complex challenge that can result in increased operating expense and also time. So to application engineers, efficiently deploy computer vision model to embed it requires expertise in model quantization and also hardware. So deployment stack need to be very ready to save the engineering time and also development time. To end customers, it is very important to faster the process of configuration and leverage their own data sets to upgrade the model performance. And also to engineers who deliver the solutions at the very end step, they need to evaluate these models with using a no-code service, which can accelerate adoption of the model. And also, based on our test, uh, model by model, stream by stream, using Invader JSON or NX, it provides up to 100 top, top AI performance. You can connect to up to 20, 20 plus cameras and run the same model, same one model around five frames per second. And the max, maximum day, you can also deploy 11 streams, and each stream comes with the a different model, and it will process uh, inference around 10 frames per second. And the specific scenarios requires different speed of the inference. So to developers uh, and the customers, that data sets providers to upgrade the camera easier, we build this open source story tool, including an inference server web UI and the deploy YOLO V8 model to NVIDIA JSON devices. It can auto handling different input source like MP4, IP camera, and US cameras. And also click and click to switch AI models. Currently, it's only support Yolo V8 models and tasks of object detection, post segmentation, and also pre uh, pre-installed model collection. And also it supports simple and user-friendly MJPEG stream output accessible with just a browser or even on your phone. And also you can even publish the detection results through MQTT to expand the applications. So in the next slide, check out the config process and also a demo. Where to play the videos? Okay. It seems like it cannot play this video. Okay, but we can, it seems like the, the video is, the video we prepared is cannot be played, but uh, later we will share, uh, we'll show you uh, a, a link and then with the configure how to configure it. By the way, you can check out a this is a demo. Uh, we a lab demo of our seed office. Can everyone see my screen? Okay, it seems okay. Here we go. Hold, okay, this is our office, and 
people will in the hands is our marketing journey. And also another camera is our, our Yu Zhang, our, our AI engineer, and to detect the items and using the Yolo VA model. Okay, so how in the next, uh, we also want to talk about uh, how we made that. So uh, as Glenn mentioned, so there is more potential of, for deploying a AI model and to a more low power uh, edge AI devices from it actually not only the GPU devices right now, like MPU, TPU, and also uh, some low power MCU can also handle these devices. But for the NVIDIA, for the NVIDIA Justin, how we make this tool? As I mentioned, the deploy AI models to embedded devices need a lot of work. TensorRT support a gateway to accelerate it. Uh, Inferencing is very critical to be figured out. This SDK includes an inference optimizer and runtime that delivers how, uh, a low latency and also high throughput. We also have a Yolo V8 benchmark testing by NVIDIA Jason Orin using the TensorRT. So besides deployment made easier and easier, so build your own model also made it easy. So first, data sets matters. You can access to the Overflow universe. There are over 200,000 uh, 200, open source data sets that you can use. And also, as Glenn mentioned, Ultralytics Hub provide you a, a space. You can just train a model with a few of clicks. And also, you can access to our Google Colab we provide the step-by-step step step tutorials and then you can for training a Yolo V8 model. So we just launched this um, open source tool, but we are also on the way to optimize that and getting feedbacks. So what is the next? We will make it more uh, easier to uh, be click to deploy. And also, firstly, we will support the custom Yolo V8 model and then support upload to other model formats. Also, we will support more software platforms and tools integration for models or for analytics. And besides, remote, remotely control and also stay offline is are also our considerations. So last but not least, as we, today's talk, we're mostly talking about the NVIDIA JS and deploy Yolo V8 models. Uh, I want to mention Seed is a lead partner of the NVIDIA JSON ecosystem. So based on our over 14 years hardware expertise, we offer a one-stop experience to simplify edge AI development, including the standard carrier boards, eye sensors, cameras, LiDAR, and the full system fam family. And as well as, as our ODM service for both hardware and also software flashing. And together with the leading AI ecosystem partners and also community from the training a model, no code, low code, uh, building a AI application and also scale your application when de deploy the edge devices with we together speed the time to market for customer and also bridge the gap between developers and the real world AI develop, deployment. And all of our full system comes with the Jetpack, which is very easy to work with Jetson SDK and also software platforms. So that is my talk today. I hope that it's helpful and we will uh, attach the links and of our SenseCraft AI and also useful link of our Yolo V8 deployment to embedded JSON devices and also the benchmark. I also invite developers to join our ecosystem and try out our tutorials. 
and also companies providing uh, edge AI solutions and working on AI software to be deployed at the edge. Join us to deliver the solutions together. For Invader Jetson, you can also check our catalog success stories across, across the industries. So thank you so much. And also, if you have any questions, you can also contact, contact us at HAI, at Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for attempting a live demo. And we got to see it there with your colleagues and the chair. So bonus points there. Really appreciate it. And uh, we are going to move questions into the virtual realm. So if anybody does have any questions, make sure you reach out to Elaine and uh, drop her a line at that email address because we are going to move swiftly on. Thank you so much for joining us from beautiful Shenzhen, a real powerhouse of you know innovation in the world. And we really appreciate your work, Elaine, and your colleagues at Seed Studio. One more time, a big round of applause for Elaine Wu. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, that was utterly, utterly fascinating. This is such cool technology. And we're now